Okay, y'all. Decided to do my fried chicken again to show you how easy it is to do fried chicken. A lot of people are intimidated, so you just need a little bit of flour, seasoned salt and pepper, or any kind of seasoning you want. If you want really hot pepper, you can do that too. Roll it in the flour, put it in hot grease. Cook the outside of it. Just brown the outside. That's all you're doing. You're not cooking it all the way. Preheat your oven to 400, 425, and you'll cook it the rest of the way. This needs to be covered when you put it in the oven, though. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, so the chicken was put in the oven covered. So the last, you take, take the cover off, look at it, see that it's just about done. But you'll notice that your skin's kind of, uh, the skin on the chicken's kind of wet looking. So go ahead and take your foil off, and for the last 10 minutes, just leave it off, and it'll crisp up. We are going to do some squash dressing. Go ahead, preheat your oven to 350. Set you aside about five cups of crumbled cornbread. Chop you up some onion, some celery, and some red bell pepper. You need to saute that for about 10 minutes. Okay, so the vegetables are now tender. You will need to stir in a can of cream of chicken soup, 14 ounces of broth, chicken broth, and we need to do three quarters of a teaspoon of ground pepper. I'm also going to put in a little bit of ground red pepper. Maybe just a little bit of that. And a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I'm going to add my chopped yellow squash. rest of my broth in there. You add a one beaten egg and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in just as a binder. Don't have to do it. You need to grease a nine by 13 pan, put this in it, go ahead and add it to it and bake 350 for 45 minutes or until toasty brown on top. So I just went ahead and took it out at the 45 minute mark. Um, you could probably leave it in another five to 10 minutes, give or take. Mississippi mud cake. So we're gonna make that. What you need to do first is preheat your oven to 350. Grease and flour your 13 by nine baking pan. Set that aside. And we're gonna start by combining the sugar, the salt, and the flour in a mixing bowl. So you need two cups of all purpose flour, two cups of regular sugar, a little bit of salt, we need to melt a stick of butter, alright, so add a half a cup cooking oil to a stick of butter, and we're going to add the baking cocoa and some water, we're going to add four cup of water, Okay, so our chocolate mixture is ready. Go add that to our flour mixture. A 
small mixing bowl and you need to add two beaten eggs, a teaspoon of baking soda, buttermilk, and that's a half a cup, your vanilla, two teaspoons. So we'll pour all that in. in a few. Okay, so now while that's baking, we need to melt a stick of butter on the stove again. We need to add our three tablespoons of baking cocoa and six tablespoons of milk. Just bring it to a boil. Okay, so our second mixture come to a boil. We need to add it to 16 ounces of confectioner sugar. pecans and walnut. Okay, so fresh out of the oven and you need to add a whole bag of marshmallows and it's mini marshmallows. Now my icing is still warm but I don't know how it's gonna work. this southern favorites video and stay tuned and look for our next one have a good day